Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Steph, and in today's video, I'm gonna compare creating a website using Webflow versus coding it. If you don't know what Webflow is, it's a visual editor where you essentially design your website and it converts it into code for you. It's really easy to use, and it's a cool way to create websites without having to know how to code. I made a previous video where I cloned the Spotify homepage using Webflow. I'll tag it in one of these corners. And that was the first time I ever used it. I thought it was super cool, so I bought a subscription. And since then, my opinion has kind of changed. I find myself going back and forth on whether or not I think Webflow is worth it. So I thought I would sit down and create two identical websites, once using Webflow and once coding it. Now, when I code it, I will be using two frameworks, Tailwind and Vue, and I will also be using Tailwind UI, which is this library full of sections that are pre-coded, and you just copy and paste them into your project, and then you customize it however you want. So it speeds the process up a lot. I'll tag a previous video I made on Tailwind UI if you wanna learn a little more about it. But anyways, I will compare the final product of these two, and just see which one I was able to create quicker, which one looks better, and just the pros and cons of each. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe down below, and let's get started. Okay, so I recently incorporated my design studio as an LLC, and I need a landing page. So in this video, I'll be creating the landing page for that. It's called Colorblind Design Studio. So I use Sketch to put together this design. It's really your basic landing page, nothing too tricky to it. I included an animation here, so it's going to be a fade in fade out animation, just because I really want to compare Webflow animations versus coding them. Other than that, it's your basic landing page. So let's get started with Webflow. All right, so here I am in the Webflow editor, and it ended up taking me about an hour and 40 minutes to complete this project. So I sped it up a ton for y'all so you don't have to watch all of that. But overall, it was a really good experience. They have a great UX and I don't have a whole lot of complaints when it comes to actually building the website using Webflow. They use all CSS properties. So it was really easy for me to pick up on this because I have a history in development. If you don't have any background in development, it might be a little harder for you. You're going to have to learn some terminology, but I can't imagine it taking you more than a few hours of messing around with it before you kind of get the hang of it. There's definitely a bit more of a learning curve compared to something like Wix, but it makes sense because Webflow is completely customizable, whereas Wix is not. So like I said, I don't have a ton of complaints, but one that I do have is that to my knowledge, there's no way to create a dictionary. So if you want to repeat a certain chunk of code over and over, you have to copy and paste it. And then if you want to change a background image or a color, but only in one section, you have to add a class. Otherwise, it's going to make that change to all the sections, which is really annoying. So I found myself just adding a ton of classes and it felt really messy and kind of chunky to me, but it's a relatively minor complaint compared to what it offers. I will say that my favorite thing about Webflow is how easy it is to make animations. You can make literally any type of animation in Webflow and it's extremely simple and it looks really great. So that's probably my favorite thing about Webflow. So here is our completed project. If we click this eyeball up in the upper left-hand corner, it'll show us what it's gonna look like once we publish it. So it looks really good. Let's go ahead and get it published. To do that, all we have to do is click this button that says publish to select a domain. So we click it and Webflow does the hosting and everything for you. So there's nothing on your end you have to do here, which is really convenient. Let's take a look at it. So the image takes longer to load than I would like, which is probably one of the bigger issues I have with Webflow is just how long it takes for images to load. And it's kind of choppy when you scroll through it. But other than that, it looks really, really nice. So the maps isn't working. And the reason for that is because I have to upgrade my plan. Here are the plans they offer. I bought this $16 a month one, but I actually paid for a year upfront. So it was about $200. Um, when I bought this, I thought that I would be able to publish all of my projects to custom domains but it turns out that's only for one project. So I can publish up to three projects with this plan, but only one of them will have a custom domain. If I want all of them to have custom domains, I have to upgrade my plan. So they do get you on the upgrades, but 
if you don't know how to code, I think it's definitely worth the money, especially because if you're building this for a client, they're probably going to be paying for it. So it is, I think, a really good option. I'm not going to lie. I came into this video thinking that I was going to shit on Webflow, but after really evaluating it, I actually think Webflow is pretty awesome. I'm back on the Webflow boat. So here's a website. It does, you can see it's a little choppy. For some reason, things like reload when you go back to them so they don't stay preloaded. But I mean, considering that we didn't write a single line of code for this, it's pretty amazing. It looks great. It's 100% customized. Here's the animation. It looks really good, or the transition, I should say. So all in all, like, I am surprised at how good Webflow is. This flag in the lower right-hand corner, if I were to upgrade my plan, it wouldn't be there. So like I said, they're going to make you upgrade probably a few times. But I do think it's probably worth the money if you want to get into web development without actually doing the coding. It's a pretty decent option. But let's go ahead and code this website and compare the two. So before I get started coding, I want to show y'all exactly what Tailwind UI is because I'm going to be using it in this project. Essentially, it's this library full of pre-coded components. So for instance, if I click on this FAQ section, it's got a few different layouts that I can use for the FAQ section. So I can preview what it's going to look like. I can look at the code and just see what's going on. And then if I click this clipboard, it copies it and I just paste it in my project and I will have this FAQ section on my web page. And it's completely responsive, so it just really speeds up the process. All right, so here I am coding the project. I once again sped it up a ton for you, but it ended up taking around 53 minutes to code this landing page, which is very quick. Keep in mind, it took about an hour and 40 minutes to build it using Webflow. Now, the reason I was able to do this so quickly is because I was using Tailwind UI. That speeds the process up a ton. I think had I been coding it completely from scratch, it probably would have taken closer to two hours. Um, but thanks to Tailwind, that was not the case. Now, on top of Tailwind, I also used Vue, which the two frameworks work really well together. If you haven't already checked them out, I recommend it. They're my favorite. As far as the transition goes, we have that fade in, fade out transition. Tailwind makes that really easy to make. They have a way for you to set the duration, the type of transition, and it's really simple. Had I done a more complicated animation, Webflow definitely would have made that simpler than Tailwind, but such a basic transition was no issue. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of commenting to be done on this section. It's really just building your typical website. So let's take a look at the final product and compare it to what we created using Webflow. All right, so I've gone ahead and published my website. So if we go to the domain colorblind.design, here it is. Right off the bat, you can see the image loaded way quicker than it did when we built this using Webflow. Um, Looks-wise, it's very similar. They do look pretty identical. The animation or the transition looks really good here as well. And the map works. So I would say the main difference is just how smooth you can scroll in this version compared to the Webflow. So here I am scrolling really fast, very smooth. Here, image takes a second to load. And then it's super choppy when you scroll. So that's the main difference, which is why I prefer coding. Also, when I use Tailwind UI, I can knock this project out way quicker coding it versus using Webflow. So if you are a developer who's looking for a quick way to get landing pages and simple websites done, I don't think Webflow is the key. I think Tailwind UI is, and I definitely recommend checking that out. However, if you're someone who is looking to get into web design or just creating websites without learning how to code, I think Webflow is a perfect option for you. It's really easy to learn. It produces customized, good-looking websites. And literally, the only complaint I have, really, is how choppy it is when you scroll. 
Now, I know a ton of professionals do use Webflow, so it makes me think there's got to be a way to optimize these images. I just haven't looked into it. I think in conclusion, I would say if you're a developer, there's no need for you to go and learn Webflow. I think you're better off sticking to coding your websites and looking into things like Tailwind UI that can just help speed up the process. However, if you are new to web design and you want to start creating your own websites from start to finish, or if you just want to get into building websites without having to learn how to code, I think Webflow is an amazing option. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe down below. I'll be posting more content similar to this, and I will see you guys next time.